Before we get into this video, guys, if you guys are looking to improve your skills in the sticks, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Fiddle Grips and use Rich at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys, and welcome to another review, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hiro Okazaki, guys. This guy has been amazing for Leicester this year, and this is why he has gotten this Hero card, along with a ton of other Leicester players, guys, who did receive all Hero cards for their play. Obviously, Leicester won the Barclays Premier League, which is pretty a pretty incredible feat for the position that they were in last year, and getting a Champions League spot, as well as actually winning the Barclays Premier League this year, guys. But Okazaki you guys in this game wasn't really expecting much but I did want to try him out and I'll tell you what guys he definitely surprised me his stats look pretty pretty average pretty pretty don't know why I said that but they are pretty average guys and he definitely surprised me played way better than his stats are and you guys will see that in the highlights um, but let's go ahead guys we're gonna take a look at his face card stats and then we'll get into the in-game stats 77 pace 81 shooting 70 passing and 80 dribbling. He also has 45 defense and 75 physical. Now, Okazaki, guys, has a four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, those high, high work rates. And as you can see there, guys, six games, I scored five goals and had three assists, which are pretty impressive stats. Now, guys, Okazaki is very agile. He's strong, and he actually has a pretty nice shot on him. He finished it off. Uh, finished a lot of goals off for me on uh, that. I've had trouble scoring with other players, so I did very much enjoy this car, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the in-game stats. We'll get into the highlights and pros and cons right after that. Okazawi's in-game stats, guys. 87 attack positioning, 87 agility, 92 jumping, 86 reactions, and 86 stamina. Now, he also has 84 finishing, 82 heading accuracy, 78 penalties, 81 shot power, and 78 volleys he has a four star weak foot three star skill moves high high work rate and guys he also unfortunately has no specialties or traits but like i said guys he plays way better than this card actually looks and he can finish it and put it in the net for a goal so we're now going to go ahead guys take a look at the highlights and the pros and cons for okazaki guys you will see some pretty nice goals throughout these highlights now guys my first pro for okazaki guys is his finishing uh, for me, guys, his shooting rating actually wasn't that amazing, but he still was able to score a ton of goals, and I just think he had great finishing. He just found a way to put it in the back of the net, so that is why that is my first pro for Okazaki. Now, guys, his second pro is going to be his strength. He held off uh, defenders excuse me, very, very well, and to go with his finishing um, and his agility, which is his third pro, guys, he was able to weave in and around defenders, use his strength to hold up play, as you can see right there, that assist to Willian, he was able to just shrug off the defender with that strength, and I mean, and just make a play happen, he just made plays happen, guys, and I tell you, this rating of, this card, or this rating for this card, excuse me, was not that amazing, but he just played out of his mind for me, five goals for an 80 overall is something that I will take any day, now guys, I already mentioned the third pro, which is his agility, but Okazaki does very well on the ball, making quick cuts, kind of reminded me, excuse me, of Landon Donovan, um, the legend card that I reviewed, the American uh, not as agile, but he definitely was agile. And he just, you know, he used those cuts, made quick, efficient cuts to get in on goal. Just like those, just kind of weaving it around defenders, using that strength, uh, using the finishing to put him home. Uh, Okazaki, guys, was a uh, just a pleasant surprise, really. Now, guys, um, he isn't perfect. So, I do have one con, and that one con is going to be his pace. Uh, I'd like my strikers to be just a tad bit faster, and Okazaki really doesn't have the breakaway speed, guys, but he does have finishing inside the box in kind of like a, a half-court style play if you were talking about basketball. Um, he definitely can, once he's in the area, you know, put, get a shot on goal, give it a chance to go in, um, but guys, his pace, he does not have breakaway speed. He's definitely a two-striker formation kind of guy, and that's definitely what I would recommend him in. Definitely put him in a BPL side, give him a try. Okazaki is something else. Now, we're going to go ahead now, guys, and take a look at the overall summary for Okazaki, guys, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he de deserves, excuse me, an 8.9 out of 10, which is a very nice rating for this card. As you can see, his pros and cons are listed as well as the goals and assists in the games played. Now let me know what you guys thought about this review. If you guys think you're going to try out this card, let me know down in the comments if you're going to and what your results are with this card. Like I said, I had a ton of fun watching him this season as well as playing with this hero card on FIFA. 
Um, guys, let me know what you want me to do for the next reviews. Um, there is going to be another Team of the Seasons coming out Friday. Not sure which one it's going to be. Bundesliga, League Un, maybe even Liga BBVA. Let me know what you guys want. Um, as always, feedback is appreciated. Feeling crazy, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you checking out this review. And until next time, I will talk to you later.